Hey guys, my hairdresser is open again today, so that's where I'm going to go. Also going to drop off some letters on the way, and um, I might do some other stuff while I'm out. See ya. I think that looks much better. Uh, yeah, so unfortunately I'm about to go swimming in probably only about an hour or so, which means the style I do in my hair, it's all going to go again. But I get to do this again every day. One thing I've seen other channels doing lately is their Ancestry DNA DNA tests. And we got this about a month ago, we just haven't got around to doing it yet. So tonight we're gonna give it a shot. Step one, activate kit online. Oh. What? I'm gonna go get my computer. Oh, I do not skip this step. Which one? Step one? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do not eat, drink, smoke, or chew gum for 30 minutes before giving your saliva sample. So that's fine. Haven't had anything to eat or drink yet. Alright, enter the activation code. Aha! Collection to you. So I have to open this up now, I guess. Activate this test. Done! So now you spit. Yep. So I filled this line. Not including bubbles. So there's like space down here. I think we need to wait for the bubbles to settle. They did settle. Right? All right, so I filled the saliva up the line and replaced the funnel with the cap. So I removed the funnel. Yeah. And put this cap on this way. So here we go. Screw on tightly to release the solution. There you go, you can see the solution in there. It's dripping blue stuff in. Alright, so shake for at least five seconds. And then put in the collection bag. Do we need this bit? What's this bit for? Cool, alright, Charles is all activated too. Tighten to release stabilizing fluid. Tighten. Yeah. Tighten so tighten it. Is that good? Yeah, there we, there we go. Uh -oh. Just as you did in the way, it just bubbled through. Shake the tube for at least... Oh. Place the tube in the collection bag. Yeah. I'm assuming oh. you leave that in there as like a moisture. Right, place the sample in the prepaid mail-in box. Okay, so place it inside the box. My one is sealed. Probably don't have a... Good... Done! Don't there we... dusted. So there we go. Finished our... Uh, both of our Ancestry DNA things and I'm going to process off tomorrow and then six to eight weeks or maybe longer because they do say it is a busy time we'll get the results back and find out where we come from what next? um some champagne I think I get these like ingrown hairs and Charlotte really loves to pick them out so there we go you can have a go I think I'm going to need a needle oh great <laughs> we're also using tweezers that came from a bonbon <laughs> I'll get a needle. Right. Yeah, let's go upstairs. It's going to be easier. Good boy. Do you see it? I don't see it. You sewing needle. Great. <laughs> Have you got it yet? With uh, tweezers this time. Got it? No, I'm still not. No, no, I can see it probably. Oh wow, that feels weird. It's like pulling my skin apart. Alright, keep going. I can't believe you don't enjoy this. You're digging in my face. Why would I enjoy it? Got it? No. Oh, come on. <laughs> what are you doing? It's like dug a hole in my but face. There's something there. Alright. I don't get it. You gonna give up? I don't want to. Let's give up. <laughs> Alright, let's go you play Coop. All right, so you're gonna try another time now. <laughs> so teaching Locke how to play coop. To work out who goes first, we each got to throw one of these at the center king without touching it. Whoever gets the closest without touching starts. So I think Locke's the closest without touching. Now Locke starts with four of these. Okay. We're gonna play four on the first shot, so I'll keep two. So your aim is to knock down my ones. Can't sort of you can't spin horizontally like that. Um, but you gotta throw it underhand any way you want and it has to spin. So here we go. Alright, zero hits on the first one. Alright, let's see what I can do. 
Well, I don't have to explain the rule about what happens if you hit them yet. Oh, there we go! So I've knocked one over. What you have to do now is throw it into my half, and wherever it lands, I stand it up on its end there. You have to knock down all of my frontline uh, field cubes, which is that one, before you can attack any of my baseline ones. Okay. Well, there you go, you can go for the others now. Once this one gets knocked over in the field, and then becomes one of my backline ones. And the aim of the game is, for me, to eliminate all of your, all of your ones of these, then I can go for the king one. There we go. Good game. Beginner's luck. I don't know.